free a free election representative of the South Tyrol from 1948, and now 75 years. The same time we are re-elected, re and I was 30 years long vice president of the South Tyrol. Okay. I will not tell the story of the South Tyrol, but only propose and uh, ask if it uh, is, uh, is, is it that it would be useful to insert in the uh, resolution also to cite the two, uh, the two principal documents about self-determination after the, the Convention of Human Rights. Uh, what we proposed in Rome at, two years ago, at the 19th of March, 1991, nice, we proposed <laughs> in, in Rome, uh, in the conference room at Monte Citorio, the Italian uh, parliament, proposed a draft international convention on the status of the ethnic communities, and uh, there is an alliance close to us. America. I've been attending, as I mentioned before, a number of times, the working group for the indigenous population. And, uh, we can see that although we are invited to take part in the, in the discussion of policies that will affect our lives, the, the end decision is taken by the state represented in that organization. Therefore, we cannot be confident of that. That's why I insist uh, with many of the delegates here the necessity of creating a body, a legal body, a human rights commission or something, uh, whatever the name that we want to call it, uh, to be open to those nations and people that at the United Nations close their relations. Uh, and all programs. That's why I have to say that uh, uh, I do not uh, agree in some respect with the representative uh, with the with the your panel in the what in, in the uh, he mentioned that maybe it won't be necessary to form a separate body uh, and so we can use the existing body of the United Nations. Uh, for example, the, the court of the International Court of the Health is not open for indigenous people because we don't form part of the United Nations. So that's why it's necessary, it's very important that the UNCLOS should create those bodies and uh, listen uh, people like us. And the right to self-determination as has been uh, stated here, uh, we have the right, an uh, inherent right, and should be uh, uh, one of the, the priority that uh, we have stated here as a policy uh, for all people. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. of the violations of the human rights. And in my organization, we have characterized self-determination as the highest expression of democracy. And I think it is very important, with all due respect to the leadership of the uh, Syrian committee, that we take into consideration the uh, concerns of Native people and the African, you know, Africans living in the United States uh, stated here. I mean, if I am wrong, please correct me. I am tempted to say that uh, a lot of times, you know, we get real critical about the Soviet Union, but in, in most instances, you know, we absorb the United States action towards uh, uh, indigenous people and African people, Mexican, Chicano people, you know, within the United States. And my concern is, and we want, yeah, we also want, you know, the concerns that we stated here to be taken into consideration, and that it's very, uh, it's very urgent that you know we, if we make criticisms, you know, of imperialism, that we do it across the board. I 
think uh, when a lot of you know delegates here speak, when they finish, you know, it's followed by comments. And it seems like, you know, uh, like I said, if I am wrong, you know, like, please, you know, like, uh, correct me. And it seems like the United States person, uh, person, you know, like, it's like a hot potato. Nobody wants to handle it. Or, you know, what's the deal? So we want, you know, like, the, uh, the commission and, you know, people here, delegates here, to take the issues that we have uh, uh, laid out here seriously and take it into, into, into serious consideration. Uh, I consider myself, you know, like, as, you know, I'm an African internationalist, and I unite with the sentiments of all oppressed people wherever they are found. And because I believe that every human being has a dignity that nobody can apply that, no other human being has the right to infringe upon. And that dignity, you know, like, is what self what really, you know, underlies this thing about self-determination. And all human beings here have that. So it is very urgent, you know, I think, for uh, uh, the General Secretary, the Chairman, and the Steering Committee to really pay attention to, you know, like the, uh, the issues that we're raising up here, that the United States, you know, will be taken uh, seriously, and the, uh, the cases of the oppressed people, you know, in the United States, we, you know, like we put on the agenda and discuss, you know, like, and uh, like we have recommended to have uh, the commission to really investigate, you know, like political prisoners and our plans for reparations. Thank you very much.
which class of our society, of our uh, people we are representing, and for whom we are seeking self-determination, whether it is for the majority class or it is for the oppressed and uh, smaller peoples. You know, for example, uh, within the uh, within the unrepresented peoples, we might have we might have a very you know very operating class which which wants self-determination. So I think I want to draw the attention of the entire assembly uh, for which class we are uh, we are fighting for, uh, for which class we are seeking self-determination. Because if we achieve self-determination for the for the bureaucratic class, it will not it will not really solve our problem. Because within that, we shall again have the same question of self-determination because many people will be oppressed. And my last question is, uh, as because it, this is the last step, I want to appeal uh, to the assembly and to the chairman that uh, uh, very, very, you know, very shortly we are going to have a negotiation with the government of Bangladesh in the first week of February because uh, over the last uh, few months we had first and second our dialogue uh, with the Bangladesh government, but it was reluctant to give any solution to the Indian people because it's trying to avoid, uh, avoid the problem. And I would request the uh, entire uh, you know, Yeah. Uh -huh.